What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to share with you the three best books that you need to read so you can get started in your real estate investing journey. Now I'm going to lay these three books out for you in the exact order that I read them to get started in my own real estate journey and it's the information in these books that gave me the perspective and the confidence that I needed to go ahead and pull the trigger on my first investment property. And at 500 subscribers I'm picking one lucky person to walk through their first real estate deal. I'm going to give you all the knowledge I know, my real estate lender, my real estate agent, and I'm going to make sure you buy a great cash flowing property that's going to set you off and kickstart you on your real estate journey. So if that's something you're interested in, subscribe down below, smash the like button, and let's get right into the video. Now, the first book that you have got to read before you get started investing in real estate is the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, in high school, I did not finish one book that they forced me to read. And this Rich Dad, Poor Dad is the first book that I've ever read cover to cover and I absolutely loved it. And if you're like me and hated reading in high school, you'll soon find out that when you start reading books that you're actually interested in, you start making your way through these books a lot faster than you thought you would have. And this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it completely changed the way that I value money, the way that I view the educational system, and it gave me a good perspective on where I wanted to take my career in my life. It gave me insight on what I needed to prioritize in my life to get where I wanted to be, and it is ultimately one that needs to be on top of your list. And with that being said, it's not necessarily a real estate book. It's basically an accounting book, but it helps you understand what income statements are, balance sheets are, and it helps you wrap your mind around what cash flow really is. It helps you understand the difference of assets versus liabilities, and it creates that perspective of passive income and how you can achieve that through cash flowing assets in your life. Now, it doesn't go into every little detail on the steps to how to buy your first investment property, but it gives you the mindset and the motivation that you need to get started investing into real estate. And it helps you realize that it's one of the best places to start building wealth. Now, the next book that I read is called Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant, and that's also by Robert Kiyosaki. Now this book is very similar to Rich Dad Poor Dad, but it goes into way more depth on what it is to be an employee, someone who's self-employed, or someone who's a business owner or an investor. Now one of my biggest realizations that I took out of this book was that whether you were employed or self-employed, you're still trading your time for money and that is not the place that I wanted to be. I knew that if I wanted to be successful in my life, I wanted to have the free time to do whatever I wanted to do and pursue other dreams and not be confined and worry about money. So I knew that I wanted to be either a business owner or an investor. For me, this book really helped me shape my mindset into realizing that I didn't want to be an employee making someone else rich. It really helped me come down with a game plan and shape my mind on what it took to become a full-time real estate investor and to create a well-oiled machine that will create me passive income and help me and my family for the rest of our lives. And the third book that you have got to read is ABCs to Real Estate Investing by Ken McElroy. Now, Ken owns over $400 million in real estate, and this book will get down to the nitty gritty on what you need to do to achieve wealth through cash flowing real estate. This book will teach you the basics on what return on investment or ROI is, how to understand what a cash on cash return and cash flow is, and it also teaches you how to find property with real potential. It breaks down how to negotiate the deal based on the numbers, how to evaluate the deal based on the purchase price, and he also teaches you how to increase the property's value through proven property management strategies. And before I bought my first property, I referred back to chapter seven in this book multiple times just so I could wrap my head around how value add works in a property. It helped me find a property that was not in that good of shape and it helped me realize what I could do to fix that property up to get the most value out of my money and what I was putting into the property. This book, ABCs to Real Estate Investing, truly helped me pull the trigger and gave me the confidence that I knew what I was doing to hop into my first investment property at 21 years old. I promise you, if you make it through all three of those books and you finish off with ABCs to Real Estate Investing, you're gonna be itching to hop into your first real estate deal. And then from there, you gotta just do it. 
you can only gain so much knowledge from reading books and trying to gather your own information, but the way that you're really going to learn is by going in, doing it, and making the mistakes along the way. Now, if you stayed here through these three books, I'm gonna give you a little bonus book, and this book is the book on managing rental properties, how to find and manage tenants with fewer headaches and maximum profits. And that's from Brandon Turner from the Bigger Pockets podcast. Now, no matter how great you are at finding real estate deals, those deals can turn to crap if you do not know how to manage your property correctly. If you don't know the right tenants to look for, if you don't know how to properly draw up a lease and what to put in the lease, you could find yourself in a bad situation very quickly if you start doing those things wrong. So the book on managing rental properties by Brandon Turner will give you the confidence and give you a complete layout on everything you need to do when managing a property and when you're finding that tenant to place in the home that you just purchased. Now that's it guys. Those are the three best books that you can read to get yourself started in your real estate investing journey along with a fourth bonus, the book on managing rental properties. At 500 subscribers, I'm picking one person to walk through their first real estate deal. I'm gonna teach you everything I know, how to run the numbers, I'm gonna give you my real estate agent, my lender that I used, I'm gonna walk you through completely on your first property and make sure you get your real estate journey kicked off to a great start. So if you're interested in that, subscribe down below and smash the like button and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.